Hey guys, um, welcome to my channel. I am here to do my 14 week update, which is totally blowing my mind. So Ovia says I am officially in my second trimester. I counted last week as my second trimester, but I'm super pumped. Baby is 3.5 inches long, and they said it's the size of a troll doll. That's crazy. <laughs> um, and pretty big. I kind of, yeah, I didn't think it would like jump in size so much, but it really has, so that's crazy. Um, so right after I filmed my last update, um, my 13 week update, not my unboxing, um, I went to go find the heartbeat on my Doppler and I couldn't find it. And my husband couldn't find it and he's kind of been iffy about finding it so when he couldn't find it I was like oh don't worry I'll find it you know I always find it and I couldn't so I had about like a 24-hour freak out session where I was like did something happen is something going wrong am I catching this like right at the end of the first trimester um, what is happening to me and so I like was freaking out and then I was very distracted the next day with Cecilia so I didn't like put much more thought into it until that night when I put her to bed and then I was like oh holy crap I need to find the heartbeat and then within half a second less than that the heartbeat was right there right where we knew it was boom 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 like so there. Um, it still wasn't registering on my Doppler. I have an anterior placenta which means it's on my belly button area. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really awkward. Um, so, <coughs> so it's harder to hear the baby sometimes because my placenta is sort of like covering that area. Um, but I found it on my left side, which is normal for me. And then down like by my pubic bone, I found it again. So um, the second time that we checked it, because we checked it, I think, yesterday or the day before, and we found it right away, and it was super strong, and it finally registered on the Doppler. So, um, the Do Doppler, sorry, excuse me. The Doppler's kind of finicky about things, like, if it catches it, it'll, like, flash the heartbeat, and then... Um, I use the Sonaline B, and so it has to flash for like a certain amount of time for it to actually register at a number, and it was registering at like the 150s, but then would like disappear, and then come back, and then disappear. So we had calculated like 168-ish, 158, um, and it's sort of been around there. So. Oh, so that's all good news with the Doppler. I... Um, thought that I was going to get my blood work results back like yesterday or the day before Friday <clears throat> and it still says that it's in progress that they're processing it right now which is actually good news because by the time they got my sample and started working on it last time or I should say the first time um like within that those like 24 hours they had called the clinic they had updated their website um because they give you a login and it had said like insufficient fetal DNA. And so the test was sort of rejected. And I got a call from my midwife that day um, saying, hey, you need to come in for another blood draw. I told you all about that craziness. I was poked eight times, didn't get a blood draw until like a week later. It was crazy. <clears throat> so I'm kind of happy that like it still says in progress because that means they have enough fetal DNA to run all their tests. So, the website now says the latest it will be done is the 30th, which is next week. I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited. Um, so, I have felt baby movement. Today, especially during lunch, there was like five to ten seconds of just crazy movement and um, just very distinct. Like, feeling that weird fluttering, um, it was pretty crazy. So I felt some sort of movement before, but it was kind of like very gentle. 
And and I remember that with Cecilia, feeling that like weird gentle, it almost feels like your poop has come alive. <laughs> so yeah, it felt weird like that in the very, very beginning and then, or a few weeks ago. And then today it felt like a baby moving. It was so weird. And I just sat there and I was like, the baby's moving. <laughs> like still, still right now. <laughs> and um, so that was exciting to like really feel a lot of movement. Um, I found a doula. Um, today we had a doula meet and greet thing and she actually works in the hospital that I'm going to deliver at and she does home visits and all that stuff. And yeah, um, there were only three doulas there to choose from and she was like the perfect mix for me. She had this like soft way of talking, but also really got me and like, understood that like I make jokes when I'm nervous and she was like laughing along with me and stuff and so she just like put me at ease and I talked to her a little bit about hypnobirthing, hypnobabies because that's something that I'm kind of entertaining right now and she was like yeah I mean it's all about the mindset and I'm like that's exactly what hypnobirthing is all about <laughs> getting yourself in the right mindset like that's what I want to hear. So I like that she was supportive of that. And it just, I don't know, she just put me at ease. And she's been doing this for like 35 years. She's older. She has four kids of her own. She delivered in this hospital. Like, I don't know. She just like, she just like checks off all of these little tick marks for me. Has attended VBACs, has a lot of experience, um, connects with me in a like a social emotional sort of way. And yeah, so I, I really liked her. I haven't contacted them yet, but I plan on sending the coordinator an email and her an email saying, hey, you're gonna be my doula. <laughs> so. I'm excited about that. I was super pumped and I actually was really surprised that I liked one of them so much because there was only three of them to choose from and my heart was sort of like already <laughs> set on this other doula and so I was like, you know, I'm just doing this because I want to, you know, feel out all my options and make the best choice but you know, like in the back of my mind I knew that I was going to pick someone else <laughs> and then, and then I saw her and we started talking and like, it was just, it, we clicked. It was nice. Um, what else? Um, so into symptoms of this week. So right after I filmed my um, unboxing for my bump box, I'll link that video down below, um, I got crazy waves of nausea. And I was like, thought I was done with nausea, but I spoke too soon. And it still comes on. And also crazy hunger. Like, that insatiable hunger it ha it did not get me in the first trimester like i was hungry but like for carbs and that's pretty much it my dog just walked outside and it freaked me out <laughs> okay um, um i was just craving carbs and i wanted carbs and i got all the carbs <laughs> and i haven't gained any well i gained like two pounds since i first found out i was pregnant to now but you know two pounds is not really like I don't really consider that like a gain because that could have just been like the day it was weird. So anyway, um, haven't gained any weight, I would say, and um, eating all the carbs <laughs> and then today and yesterday, pretty much all this week, I've just been like, I need food, I need it now, like I will eat everything in the house. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so eating a lot. Yeah, so that's fun. Um, I still have been getting cramps. Um, not like regular Braxton Hicks sort of like contraction cramps, but just crampy. Um, almost like I'm about to start my period, but it's not like too intense yet. That kind of feeling. Um, I told you guys that in my last um, video, my 13 week update, I talk to my doctor, my midwife, and my nurse about pumping the colostrum that I was leaking. And since then, I've only had one day where I actually leaked anything. So I only pumped that one day that I had some sort of leakage happening, and I got like two drops out. 
Um, and I was like, this isn't even like, how can I save that? Like the residue basically <laughs> in the tiny little container. So I was like, Cece, do you want some of mama's milk? <laughs> and she just kind of like licked it out of the like funnel. Um, <clears throat> and then I didn't even bother with like the spray residue stuff that was in the container. I was like, I'll just wash that out. Um, and then I have it and then like my nipples were kind of sore. I didn't cramp like any more severely that night or anything like that. <clears throat> um, yeah, just like a little bit of sore nipples, which I'm kind of glad that I'm sort of toughening them up now because if you've tried breastfeeding or if you are breastfeeding, you know that it takes a lot out of you. And like those first few weeks, well, for me, it was like nine months, pretty much the whole 13 months actually, um, it hurt. I was in pain. It wasn't, it wasn't really pleasant. So, so yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm happy to toughen them up now when there's not a tiny little baby that I need to feed and then also feel guilty that I'm hurting so bad and I still want to feed her, you know, like the new mom struggle. Everybody goes through that. <laughs> uh, uh, my acne is sort of clearing up right now. I have like one pimple right on the edge of my lip which sucks, <laughs> but it's sort of clearing up and then the rest of my acne is sort of clearing. So knock on wood. Oop, I knocked my camera. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Knock on wood. It is not that bad right now. So I only have like two pimples instead of like seven. <laughs> um, what else? I think that's it you guys we're just doing a bunch of like house like minor house repairs we want to sell our home and find a larger home in the same area and so yeah that's what we're doing we're, um, I mean that's what my husband's doing I say I'm doing it but I really just helped with yard work yesterday not yesterday last weekend and then this weekend he is like redoing the bathroom stuff and so it's all chemically and gross um and so he's doing all of that and i'm just like on mom duty which is which is fine i don't mind it that much cc is teething i think she ran a low-grade fever last night right before bed and we gave her tylenol um because she had the febrile seizure before so and febrile means like seizure that comes with a fever so I'm, I don't take any chances <laughs> at all. And I was like putting her to bed and kissing her head. And then I was like, she feels warm to me. You know, the old mom lips on forehead. That's a accurate thermometer, of course. <laughs> but my husband got the real thermometer, checked her out. And sure enough, it was like 99.6. And my thermometer is pretty awesome. It's the head like forehead one and then it has the screen that will flash green if it's okay orange if it's borderline red if it's severe and then i think there's a red flashing that's like crazy emergency um and i've seen red on it before but this was just an orange so i was like all right let's give her tylenol because i don't want her having a seizure in the middle of the night while we're sleeping like that would stress me out so much and yeah she went to sleep just fine and she woke up feeling great except now she's sort of <clears throat> running on fumes <clears throat> we had a very busy day and so she is just very clingy right now and like every little bump or you know she like rubs something the wrong way she will wail she'll cry so hard and that's so not like her she's usually the one that'll like run 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 and like fall smack or whatever into something and then she'll be like all right and then continue running like she's really not one of those girls or kids that dwells on her bumps and bruises she does like her fancy band-aids so when she has those she's like owie <laughs> ow fell down down <laughs> and so like she likes that kind of like attention but she doesn't like cry that often when she gets hurt 
except for today. She's just been very emotional and very clingy, but that's okay. That's to be expected. And she understand the, understands that there's a baby inside of me, so whenever we're talking about this baby or my friend just gave birth, like we're just talking about babies a lot, she's like, baby, mama baby, mama, and she'll point to my stomach and then she'll come up to my belly and like give it a hug, kiss my belly, and then she'll say that the baby's sleeping. <laughs> like it's really cute. So she's gonna be a good big sister. I'm sure of it. <sighs> okay, well, that is my long-winded update. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.